thank you dr pravin for kind words and again i would like to thank to dr rutul takkar as well as the dr dharmendra panchal for uh, uh, just giving me opportunity to deliver talk in today's web based platform particularly as far as the uh, gdm is concerned right uh, my slide is visible that's visible dr malik okay and sir am i am i audible 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 all good okay sir okay can anyone share the screen probably can try moving the slides yeah okay fine fine uh so today i am going to uh, uh deliver talk on the postpartum gdm management and uh, as far as the postpartum gdm management is concerned uh we all know the slide is not moving next please okay fine see uh we all know the when a life gets seeded in a mother womb its age dates wealth education and death all are determined right here it was the statement is given by the chanakya and uh, we all know that's why we have to take care of the mother as well as when patient is mother is going to become just like a woman is going to become pregnant they we are going to take care in such a way that we will take care of the future outcome also next please see we all know the diabetes in pregnancy there are two categories one is a pure gdm is called uh, the gestational diabetes two gdm we can say when the diabetes diagnosed during the pregnancy and one is a pre gdm when the patient basically pregnancy with pre existing diabetes like type 1 or type 2 next please uh, i am going to start my case presentation with a, of a true gdm case and my other co speaker is going to talk about the patient having a pre gdm when patient having a type 1 and type 2 how we are going to take care of the postpartum this is a classical case 20 years old pregnant lady who is a bmi 30 kg present with the history of the gdm the ocd was done at the 24 weeks of pregnancy The fasting sugar was 117. First hour is 217, and second hour is 180. And patient was referred to us for the management of the uh, diabetes. Uh, when patient is came to us, we have taken a real history. There was a no any family history of diabetes. There is a primary. There was a no any history of the abortion or miscarriage. There is no other associated the like this or like thyroid or obesity. Advice for the lifestyle modification, just like I mentioned, physical activity. What we are usually going to advise when patient is going to come to first time us. After ten days, when we call the patient in follow up with the SMG report, look at the reading. The fasting sugar is near two hundred. Post meal level is one ninety two, and post meal two hour sugar is one seventy. We have advised the prandial insulin in view of the high TPG, but patient is not willing for insulin at the time. We have also advised for the EGP for better glycemic monitoring, but patient is not going to convince. Next, please. After ten days, when we have done the basically the uh, just doing the SMG report, you can see here fasting is reasonable is going to came to ninety five. Post meal sugar is 164 milligram and post meal sugar is 150 milligram per deciliter with the on the metformin 250 milligram PID because patient was not going to convince for the insulin and we have again advised for prandial insulin for better management but patient is not going to ready to for take insulin the dose of metformin is going to be titrated and we have given the metformin 5 milligram PID still sugar is not going to control no uh, now the detailed counseling was done for the future outcome and ultimately patient is going to convince for the insulin initiation. We have initiated Lispro two minutes before the breakfast, three before the lunch, and three before the meal. And the dose of insulin was titrated as per the SMG level till the date of delivery. And by that time, sugar was very controlled. Look at the last figure. Fasting is came to ninety four. Reasonably is going to good control. Post meal one hour sugar is one thirty eight, and post meal second hour sugar is one twenty four. Next, please. This is a usual story we are going to see in day and day out of our clinical practice. And after delivery, within two to three days. The insulin requirement almost going to become nil. Patient was going to discharge by gynecologist on metformin. With advice to do follow up with your diabetes doctor after ten days with SMG reports. Again, basically, patient is going to advise to do OGTT after one and a half month of delivery. Next, please. But this is the basically ground reality, and we are going to see a lot many such about patients basically in our clinical practice. But usually, we have observed that there are very few patients they are going to come in follow. Uh, now, how we can the going for the better management for the as far as the postpartum level of the basically mother glycemic status as well as for the offspring. There is a basic recommendation and there was a basically guidelines by that how we can assess of the mother glycemic status in a postpartum stage. In most of the time, the GDM diabetes is usually going to resolve after delivery. Insulin requirement usually is going to come down completely or sometimes is going to reduce significantly. Patient was going to having a higher dose. Even though, however, it can be persist in five to ten percent cases. Sometimes they are going to be represent as an unrecognized pre-existent diabetes, 
and blood glucose monitoring during this 40 days after delivery it is going to definitely help to determine the future outcome and when fasting sugar is going to more than 120 or casual random sugar if you are going to get more than 200 mg definitely we have to just knock down okay, our patient is going to having a future risk of type 2 diabetes now what other things we have to keep in mind when the women having a prior gdm or igt or ifg they are having a underlying severity risk factor also if you are going to intervene in proper way you are going to identify going to give the proper treatment and definitely planning pregnancy in women developing the diabetes after gdm should reduce the subsequent early fetal loss and major congenital malformation next please immediate postpartum management of the offspring care this is all about what, what we have discussed for the maternal side mother side now something we have to take care of the offspring women with the gdm should be anchored to breastfeeding immediately after delivery in order to avoid the risk of the neonatal hypoglycemia that we all know the risk of the hypoglycemia is always to be higher side but we have to busy promote and we have to encourage a woman with gdm to give the breastfeeding immediately and at least is to be continued for at least two, three to four months postpartum in order to prevent the future risk of the childhood obesity and diabetes in the offspring also it is going to help in term of the reduce the risk of the type 2 diabetes and hypertension in the mother also monitor, uh, we have to new, monitor in your capillary blood groups are at least at the one hour after delivery and before the each of the first four breastfeed if value is going to less than 36 mg per deciliter it ultimately going to having a signs of the severe hypoglycemia we have to give top feed if, if baby is going to take it or we have to give either glucose water or iv dextrose and again if baby is macrosomic we have to check the calcium level on the second day is all about the uh, about the offspring side now we all know what are the short term and long term complications for mother and offspring due to gdm i am going to focus on more thing postpartum level if the basically the mother is if you are going to say the future risk of the recurrent gdm and type 2 diabetes always to be high and same way also basically in offspring side there are the long term outcome there will be a increased risk of the obesity there will be also increased risk of the future risk of the type 1 and type 2 diabetes even the metabolic syndrome also that's why we have to address aggressively we have to monitor we have to do the close follow up in the postpartum state of the mother by this way we can reduce the future risk of the uh, type 2 diabetes as far as the maternal side and also we can take care of the baby also next please what are the risk of the future diabetes you can see here the woman who having getting a gdm they are having a higher risk of the developing type 2 diabetes in the future that we all are knowing and rate of the conversion rate varies from 35 to 60% over a period of 10 years this patient is going to have a risk of the diabetes at any time in next 10 years after delivery what the recent in indian data is going to show out of the five women one woman with the gdm is going to progress to dysglycemia in form of igt or diabetes within the one years of the delivery and similar way there will be a 70% of risk in the uh, next 5 years again the obesity waist circumference and the bmi are the strongest arthropoietic measure is going to be required with to development of type 2 diabetes in the women with the gdm next please ultimately i can say the gastrointestinal diabetes as a, it acts as a driver of the type 2 diabetes when the pregnant woman with diabetes if they are going to deliver the baby girl ultimately it is going to grow and future risk of the young woman with diabetes and when she is going to become pregnant again the basically they are going to having a chances to basically the uh, transport the risk of diabetes in the third generation ultimately it is a vicious cycle what are the risk factor for the progression to diabetes those who are having a overweight obesity particularly those having a strong family history of the diabetes then gdm is going to diabetes in the first trimester those patients they require the insulin during the pregnancy um, on top of the oral anti diabetic drug like metformin or diet alone or sometimes patients go to require the pre meal insulin as far as for fasting after is concerned and patient it may be having a persistent even igt after delivery they all are having a risk of, of the progression of the future diabetes means when we are going to counter it during the gdm management or in this situation we have to keep our opening eye we have to keep basically very vigilant because these all are patient having a risk of the future diabetes means they require close monitoring and close follow and remember sir one thing women when having a gdm they having a higher risk of the developing cardiovascular disease as compared to women with those having no history of the gdm at the younger age that's why we have a basically guidelines recommendation how to basically going to take assessment of the postpartum basically gdm we have to do ideally ogtt 75 gram oral glucose tolerance test at the end of the 6 week to 8 weeks after the delivery and we have to just to level the ogtt if og is going to become normal then definitely but there is a no any basically major variable thing but still the patient is going to require the discipline healthy behavior modify lifestyle and we have to close to follow up every end of the one year suppose somebody patient is going to land up with the igt definitely the lifetime modifications to be required on top of that you can consider metformin 
but when patient is going to label having a type 2 diabetes definitely patient is going to require the insulin on basically metformin plus lifestyle modification if patient having a very high sugar if they are not going to manage with the lifestyle modification and metformin we have to basically go for insulin till the baby, uh, the patient is going to deliver the uh, patient is going to uh, feeding their baby next please we all know i am not going to detailing about it what are the normal level of the ogtt what is igt what is ifg and what is diabetes these are the reading we are going to come to i am not going to uh, discuss in detail in the next please how we can manage the diabetes during lactation phase this is again the very important thing the remember that this insulin is only the basically the remain the choice of drug when the uh, um, the mother is going to basically like, uh, feed their baby but sometimes basically mother is going to little bit disturb if they require the lot of basically the uh, counseling then insulin during the management of the gdm at that time patient is not going to ready for that but the metformin you can consider because the metformin is going to secrete in the breast milk but there are with little bit very minimal side effect try to avoid the assun all other oids even patient having a pre existing type of diabetes not to use this type of oid only you can go for the insulin any patient is not going to require you can consider metformin but still the data is has to be required for the further management now how we can prevent basically the all the strategy ultimately patients require the good lifestyle modification dietary plan if patient having obesity they require the weight loss regular they require the exercise and suppose if patient having a labeling pre diabetes after post delivery then you can consider metformin especially such type of the category of the woman and also we have to take care of additional cardiovascular risk factor like hypertension obesity or any other metabolic syndrome next please the, by this way we can prevent all these things is there any data or studies they want to be there uh, how the lifestyle modification is going to prevent the future of gdm yes you can see here the it's a uh, finished gestational diabetes prevention study and a study was done and just they have come to know that by doing the proper life identification we can reduce the 39 percent of incidence of the gdm in a high risk pregnant woman next please ultimately this is an all table i can just go into summarizing the a to g form how we can manage the postpartum basically for the maternal as well as offspring side a is assessment is they required the regular follow up with the ogtt at the end of the 6 and 8 weeks of the delivery the how to encourage breastfeeding the contraception has to be required advised in proper way ultimately future risk of the early onset of diabetes we can prevent it dietary modification is required in proper way with the help of the nutritionists and dietitians exercise and physical activity is going to be promoted we require the family involvement because lot of time we have observed the husband sometimes is not going to basically involve after the basically post gdm and ultimately mother is going to take care uh, of the baby and she is going to be busy and they are not going to do the follow up advice what we have given the recommendation during the time of the our the gestational follow up and ultimately we have to design some goal and that we have to basically given the explanation in proper way look at the left corner slides here the basically the the recommendation is given by the ada 2022 even the 2015 nice guidelines they have given what are the short term follow up and what are long term follow up they all are going to come to conclusion the population those of gdm they require the close follow up basically up to the 6 to 12 weeks after delivery and again if they are going to having a normal or hypoglycemia even though they require the at least basically once in a year for next year for regular follow up just to see the trend either they are going to convert in pre dm or diabetes next please this all about the basically the discussion what we have basically came to know the postpartum management for the maternal side as well option 5 now what are the benefits of postpartum follow up if you are doing the proper postpartum follow up ultimately we can prevent the future risk of the gd and diabetes also we can also early detect the diabetes and pre diabetes subsequently we can reduce the risk of the future cv events also and we can also prevent or delaying the complication of diabetes there are the lot many benefit as far as if you are going to do proper postpartum follow up next please what are the barriers there are a lot of barriers as far as the education side patient basically still having a lack of understanding they are not going to having awareness of the risk of the type 2 diabetes some there are social economic stigma is going to be there sometime basically the after going to deliver baby the mother is going to transport that their mica and they are not going to come to know they are not going to do follow up lack of family support already i have discussed One and healthcare more. system sir just within 2 minutes i am going to finish the healthcare system also is going to be having a major issue there are poor bridging from the antepartum and postpartum care and also there would be very poor communication between the obstetric gynecologist as well as primary care physician and because of that we are going to be a lot of troubles what could be strategy for that we can give the patient reminder like phone calls or text message or email we can also go for the verbal or written counseling education during the time of the gestation management and also we can do flexible appointment time so patient is not going to having a lot of spent time in opds because they are also going to busy to take care of their babies and by telemedicine also nowadays you can contact your patients and you can do close follow up 
what i basically recommend and what i going to basically advise for my the the junior colleagues and the all the clinicians i think almost we are doing but if you are not doing that we have to start to do in our clinical practice if you are going to just run the gestational clinic the we have to recognize the scope and significance of future risk of diabetes and we have to promote the universal testing this is number one second thing we have to keep reinforcing to the mother about their future risk of diabetes we have to encourage the breastfeeding discuss about the planned pregnancy in pre conception care keep reminding the patient to have regular follow up after her gdm pregnancy and keeps an eyes on babies of mother with gdm and also going to communicate with your pediatricians this is the thing we have to keep in mind and the last slides basically i am going to say so we have next please uh, we have to basically maintain basically our the diabetic patients in such a way that the baby is not going to feel that her mother is going to having a risk of diabetes if you are going to do in proper way then definitely by this way we can prevent the future risk of the obesity and diabetes of the offspring this is from the my side how we can going to take care of the true gdm patient in a, as far as the basically post partum is concerned and now just i am going to hand over to the uh, dias to the chairperson for inviting next speaker